I'd like to just uh, thank Adam Gase for all the work that he's done. And um, it's probably it's probably one of the toughest decisions I've made. I really like Adam. He's a very bright guy. He's worked his tail off, and uh, unfortunately, things didn't go the way we all hoped. Um, I, I, you know, a lot has been written over the last couple weeks, I guess. Um, I'd like to say all you guys were wrong because I didn't make a decision until probably last night um, after that game thinking about it. Um, and I don't know where somebody got the information from, but it's, the decision was really just made. Um, <clears throat> I'm very proud of the organization, what we've accomplished. I think uh, we've succeeded in everything from my aspect when I first bought it, except winning on the football field. And <clears throat> basically the decision was really made as I looked at it and seeing that today we're no further along than when I really uh, bought the team. You know, we've been operating under a philosophy that we had a good young roster and it needed maybe free agents and draft choices and we'd be very competitive. To keep operating under that philosophy is really be like the definition of insanity, doing the same thing and really expecting a different result. So I thought it was time for the organization to take a different approach, much like when I do in my business. I mean, I know everything I've done. We've all used the best in class, and we're on top, and that's what I expect to be on the football field as well as as, a, as an organization. Um, I think you see what we've done as an organization that Tom Garfunkel has, has led, um, and where we've done, you've seen how we've, what we've done with the stadium, creating a better environment for the fans and doing everything really the right way, watching our ticket sales grow and uh, what we've done in the community. Uh, I'm very proud of that. But what I'm not proud of is what we've done on the football field. And uh, that's what I owe to the fans. And I take total responsibility myself. So today in making that decision, I knew when I look at where we are, I think we really have to take a different approach in how we do it. Because what, what you want, what I want, is really sustaining winning seasons and having an organization that is used to winning because that's what people in Miami expect. That's what the fans want and the fans deserve. So <clears throat> basically the thought is we're going to look to really build this organization based on our needs. And if it takes a year or so, two years, three years, we're going to be there and we're going to be a, an organization. Fortunately... We're looking around that we have someone within the organization that I believe can do the best job of anybody in leading us to that, and that is Chris Greer. He's probably one of the most respected people in the NFL. When you talk to people all along, I always got, hey, Chris Greer. I mean, a lot of people really haven't dealt with him. He's been the guy behind the scenes and making uh, a lot of the uh, personnel decisions but not leading the organization. Chris will have total responsibility in leading the organization. He will work together with a new coach. He will make all football decisions and report to me. Uh, and I think that as we build this roster, we have a great young roster today with some key players to build upon, but we're going to build it the right way, bringing in new people who would want to win, really you know, creating that winning attitude um, and as you've seen with some of the recent players we brought in, it's about winning and loving football. And that's what this organization is going to be. What I like to say is they're going to have the heart of a champion. And that's what we're going to be all about. You know, for me, I'd like to thank Steve uh, for the opportunity. It's a bittersweet day. You know, Adam and Mike are good, good men. You know, it's, it's always a tough day, you know, around the league uh, this day. Um, but Adam gave his blood, sweat, and tears for this organization. Um, he's a tireless worker. Uh, I have no idea he's going to uh, go on to great things. Uh, and the same with Mike. Learned a lot from Mike. Uh, very grateful to him. And it's hard to them. You know, you think about their families going forward. I know Steve had a very tough decision. And, you know, I said I didn't know anything going on really until uh, this morning. So 
again, uh, looking forward to the future. I'm excited that uh, Steve has entrusted me to lead the organization. I think some of you that have followed us kind of know a little bit of my background and what I believe in. And, and so those people that have mentored me over the years, and I've talked to them, and there's you know kind of a way I believe in building a football team and going forward, uh, that's what we're going to do. And the uh, ultimate goal is to win Super Bowls and championships and be a consistent winner, as Steve said. It's not about winning one year and then falling back and doing We want to build this thing the right way where it's long, sustained success, where the fans are happy, Steve's happy, and, uh, and we're winning for long periods of time. That, that is not accurate. It was, it was never discussed. Steve, what ultimately led the decision to re-sign Mike Tannenbaum and ultimately fire out As I said, you know, I think that we're going in a direction of building something and looking to uh, build an organization that can be sustainable and winning, not just signing a few free agents uh, that are older and – uh, with a few draft choices and think you're going to be uh, a contender. You mentioned even if it takes a year, you want to build this the right way. Does that mean that you look into the draft for potential quarterback replacements? You look for a way to build if there are little growing pains along the way? That's correct. Steve, why keep, just to put it in plain terms, why keep Chris when he's part of the regime? What did you see differently in his decisions or where he well, when you talk to people in the NFL, I think Chris is probably one of the most respected uh, personnel people involved. I think Chris has been with the organization a long time. He's earned the respect of everybody within the organization. I've w worked with him and watched him grow, and I think you know that he, he is really probably the best person that I could find for this job. And I think he is, you know, and I'm very happy with that decision. Chris, how would you summarize your team building philosophy? Uh, not to get into you know, in a whole lot of details. You know me, I don't really throw it out there for you guys. But um, again, look who I started with. You know, it was Bill Parcells years ago. Uh, I've worked with Pete Carroll, as we talked about, Coach Belichick, Coach Saban. I mean, there's a lot of those guys, and a, a lot of that has influenced me. You know, and I talk to those guys still about a lot of different things. And, and, uh, and I just have strong beliefs of what I believe in, how football teams win and how they're built. And, so I shared that with Steve. We had a good conversation, and, and, uh, and that's going to be our plan going forward. Chris, what do you think the number one ingredient this team is missing? I just think the biggest thing we've had here over the years is, you know, we had, you know, we went 10 and 6, then we had the injuries, and then we, you know, suffered a, a 6 and 10, then 7 and 9. It's, it's just being consistency and having, knowing who you want to be. You know, it's, you've always talked about, you know, what kind of team you want to be. But then, as Steve said, there's times where you get caught up in some things where you may sign something or you uh, stray from that. But if you, you have a vision for what your team wants to be, you stay with it and you build it the right way, you can build winners in this league. And, and guys have shown that across the league. Steve, you said you made a decision last night. One more player is going to play. Pardon? So one more player is going to play. Yeah, I'm not being a player. This morning. Correct. I want players who love football, who want to win. Where winning is the most important thing. Chris, have any sort of timetable in terms of uh, hiring a coach? Uh, we're starting that process immediately. You know, so uh, for us, as soon as we finish this press conference, I'm going to go upstairs and get working on it right now. Chris, is it important that the next head coach have prior NFL and coaching experience? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think you, you can't rule out anything. You know, uh, there's uh, good football coaches. Uh, pro in college, and I think we're going to investigate every avenue. I know for us, the important thing will be finding the right guy that kind of believes in some of the same things I do in terms of building a team, but I'm also flexible enough that if he presents his ideas and we think it's good, that it's going to be a collaboration in everything we do still. I know we talk about you know, having control and I'm over it. Yeah, but it's not going to work if he and I don't share a vision to implement that plan throughout the organization. Yeah, because right now he's on the roster. Uh, 
again, the next head coach is going to come in and he'll evaluate the roster as well. And, and so, again, we'll work through that once uh, that guy's hired. All right, we'll take a couple more. Steve, just the thinking and parting ways with, uh, with Coach Gase, why did you ultimately feel like that was the right thing to do? I mean, I think Adam wants to win and win now. And I don't think he's, he's in his, going to his fourth year. And doesn't really, you know, I think he wants to win. And I think as every coach, when you're fourth year, you feel you have to win, you know. And have you indicated this might be a rebuilding program where winning immediately would necessarily happen? Ideally, but not necessarily. Well, I mean, I think we have a lot of great players, a great nucleus to form. You know, when we win on a sustainable basis, I can't tell you what, you know, which year that's going to be. But we're going to do what it takes to build the organization, you know, piece by piece so that we have the right players that will be here to build that winning uh, tradition and bring it back. Steve, is this the first time you stepped back and said, let's do it this way? Because you said it's a different approach. Yeah, I mean, if you look back, look what we've done every year since I've been here. And if we keep doing that, you know, where are we going to be? You know, we'll be anywhere from, what, 6 and 10 to 10 and 6, you know. That's not good enough. So, Steve, are you saying you're willing to maybe go through some years of three and thirteen to ultimately become an elite team? I, I would hope I don't have to go three and thirteen, <laughs> but whatever it's going to take, we're going to build that organization with the right players that want to win. They're coming here to win. All right, good. Thank you. Thank you.